The Browns have been out in Berea going through mostly strength and conditioning workouts as well as installing a new offense and a defense during some walkthroughs. Now the strength and conditioning has been for the most part, uh, the big part of what the Browns are doing during this acclimation period, getting ready for what will be a full squad workout in about a week. Uh, they did find out, though, that three guards and one offensive tackle, four offensive linemen, have opted out for the 2020 season due to the pandemic. I think that's what Andrew and his staff are working on every day. I think they walk in the building and say, look at the roster, how do we improve it? So. Uh, you know, I know with, with the opt-outs at that position, it's certainly something that, that we will continue to look at. Uh, as it pertains to practice reps, I mean, you have to get your starters ready. You, you also have to get your backups ready uh, in this year. So we have to be very mindful of how we divvy up those reps. And, and I've sat down with the coaches already, and we have a plan for that. But I don't think it's a season where you just say, hey, I'm getting my starters ready. I think that, that may not be smart. Daryl, I think what is – Obvious to me is that guys worked very hard in this offseason, both physically and mentally. Um, I think watching the uh, walkthroughs, watching the coaches interact with the players, there is there is a good understanding of what we want to do. Now, I'll steal a line. I talked to Coach Kubiak the other night, and, and he said it, and it's right. The, the teaching is ahead of the doing right now. So we had a really good offseason of, of teaching. Uh, we've had a ton of meetings to, to this point. And now with these walkthroughs, we're finally doing. So just to see the guys walk through techniques and, I mean, literally walk through. You know, we're having a, a period where these guys are not moving very fast, but they're getting the, the body to get through the football movements uh, is, is really important. So I've just been impressed with what the guys have been able to retain going back to the spring. And then, like we talked about, the guys attacked the offseason in the weight room and, and showed up in really good shape. Yeah, I think the walkthroughs are awesome. I mean – we need to, there are meetings on the field at a minimum, you know, so it's, we're outside, which is beneficial and, and we're lining up. Now we're also lining up, we're spreading out, we're being safe early here in camp. But yeah, I, I think Scott, there's a progression to teaching. Uh, we've certainly had a lot of the meeting room uh, part of this, but then there, you always want to walk through before you do something full speed. So that's kind of, this uh, works out really nicely in, in our teaching progression. Kevin Stefanski addressing the media today. Uh, let's welcome in Brown's beat reporter for Cleveland.com and the plane dealer, Dan Lobby. Dan, uh, you were in on that uh, Zoom call. What, what did you take away from uh, what Kevin Stefanski said? It, it sounded like he was really happy to have guys on the football field, even if it doesn't look like a real football practice yet. He was just happy to have guys out there going through motions, working on this install. Everything has been virtual to this point. You know, he, and when they have been in the building, he hasn't really been allowed to coach them. So when they showed up for that strength and conditioning stuff, he wasn't even allowed to, to coach these guys or even watch them out of his window. So uh, he, he's excited to, I think, be coaching these guys and, and see what they can do. And, you know, starting next week, they're going to move to some in-person meetings on, on top of these walkthroughs. And, and they're actually really starting to ramp up to a real training camp. 